Hi there and welcome to another crafting tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint a cow. As always I'm using acrylic paint. Today you're just going to need a bit of yellow and red, just a tiny bit, a lot of blue, white and black. Um, you're also going to need two or three paint brushes, all varying sizes, a cup of water, your canvas, paper, cardboard, anything's fine. Mine's going to be A4, um, you can do any size you want really. Some kitchen roll to blot your paint brushes on and a pencil. Maybe a rubber if you don't trust yourself. Okay, let's go. I'm going to start by sketching out my cow, and I'm roughly just going to draw one big circle in the middle, and then square it out a little bit. And that's going to be the nose. And I'm also going to do another circle just slightly off centre from that. Again, square that out a bit, and that's going to be the top part of the head. So as you can see, that's literally all I've done now. It's very rough, just to get the proportions right. If you have a printer at home or you've got two devices, I've got the, the JPEG image of the cow that I painted on my website. It's just craftnoon.co.uk. If you scroll right to the bottom of the tutorial page, um, you'll see cow and then just click on that and you can have a reference to work from. The eyes are really wide set, they don't look like it in the picture and when you draw them it's not going to feel natural but they really are quite far apart um, so try to resist putting them where a human eye would be. The nostrils are huge, much bigger than the eyes so just kind of when you are sketching out and looking at the picture for a frame of reference, try to think of where they are in proportion to the other, other features. So the nostrils are bigger than the eyes, I've noticed that, so you just need to be aware of how everything matches up and reflects against each other. So when you think you've done your sketch and you're happy with it, remember it's just a sketch you're going to paint over it so it doesn't need to be exact. It's a good idea to hold it from afar and just make sure you're happy with the proportions and that it all looks like a cow. And then we're ready to paint. Um, we are going to start with the lightest colour for this, so it's going to be white. It's a slightly off white, so we're going to mix in a tiny, tiny bit of yellow. <laughs> but just putting white straight on the canvas is a really good place to start because then you can kind of add into it and it's a good base layer. So I'm just going to paint in the middle of the nose and just a little bit up here and just sections around this part before I add in any yellow. Okay, so you can see where I put the white, just on the inner part of the nose, a little bit of body and just under the chin. I'm going to add in the tiniest bit of yellow and a tiny bit of red, um, just to see what it does. Only on the bits around the eyes, a little bit on the body. So we're going to leave this bit bright white. So now I've done a little bit of yellow. It looks quite odd, but now we're going to blend in a really, really small amount of, of red. It's going to be lighter towards the white parts and a bit of a deeper red towards the inner parts of the nostril. I'm now just going to build more and more white on top of the kind of yellowy white that I've already made. Okay, now we're going to go um, with our black and make a kind of a dark grey, and that's going to be our base colour for all of the black and all the base blue. The ears, the eyes, this tiny bit down here, and the main part of the nostril. And then we're going to add white and black on top of that to give it definition. So I've already started to mix in, <laughs> it doesn't look great from here, um, a darker grey, so almost a black, and you can just put black straight on the canvas and it will mix if the, if the paint's still wet. Under the eyes, and on the under, underneath of the ears. I'm going to move down to the, the bottom part of the cow. I'm going to get a bit more black here, and black on the underside of the nose as well, but keep this quite um, light grey. So if you feel more comfortable moving to a smaller brush, feel free. I'm still with my largest brush, just because I want to cover the, the canvas quite quickly, and then I can move on to detail after. 
but these bits can be quite fiddly, so feel free. Okay, and when you've done, I'll find the best angle. Uh, when you filled in and you sort of blended all the blacks and the greys and the whites to create what looks like an eye, I haven't put the pupil in or the, the um, highlight yet, that will make a big difference. But when you're happy with that, we are going to find a mid-tone. It's going to be a tricky one to find, but it's basically between a white and a black, so it's sort of like a grey, but it's going to have a bit of colour in it, so a bit of yellow and a bit of red. And that's going to connect all the black and the white bits so they look a little bit more smooth. You can keep it quite cartoonish. Um, but I'm going to create this tone and it's going to work quite well down here as well and create a darker white tone. So I've created one now. It's slightly too red but I'm going to use it around the nose. So where this bit, which used to be pink, I'm going to have quite a little bit in black. I'm just going to put a bit there and these tones are going to make the cow go from looking quite cartoony to looking a lot more natural. When you found a mid-tone colour, which I sort of have, the pink's going to work, I'm just going <laughs> to put in a bit more yellow on top. Can you see? It's slightly off-white. I'm going to put this in the bottom section here, work in a little bit here, and then a tiny bit here as well. And you can always add um, white on top if you think you've gone a little bit too dark. Okay, I'm now going to make a slightly darker colour to almost do same as I've done here, but between the black and the white here. So more or less get exactly the colour that I have been using. And just add in a tiny bit of black. It's sort of like a dark grey that I've created. I've put a bit here just to see how it's come out. And I'm going to use my brush and just kind of blend the yellow and the black together. Like so. Okay, now you've got your slightly darker grey on. I'm going to go round with my black and I've noticed that this side here should be coming down a little bit more. And I want to define the nostrils and the nose a little bit more. And then we're going to move on to the background and do final details after. So now when, you put the, when you're putting the black on, the, the base colour should have dried a little bit more so you won't be blending as easily, um, which is good because you now want the black to be defining um, and just kind of be an overlayer rather than blending. So a lot of <laughs> my voice is gone today. A lot of the um, the blending is great at the start, and now that we have the black that's really going on and defining, it's a good idea to do the nostrils and the mouth now because you need that sharp edge. So everything else should be kind of blending together, apart from the nostrils and the mouth. And the mouth looks a little bit like you'd actually draw a moustache, but it's his mouth. We're going to give him a little smile at each end. Now that the base white is also dried, I'm going over quite gently and just putting on a couple of darker brush strokes to define. Just in the middle, not around the nose, just here and also down here. Okay, now we're going to move on to the background. You can do this any colour that you like. Obviously I've got the majority of blue left over, so I'm going to do a blue background. Um, I'm going to do just a block background, I think. So you can mix in. If I had a bigger palette, I might mix and do so a darker to light. But for now, I don't have much space, so I'm just going to put the blue straight on. Okay, I'm, I'm now having second thoughts about my background. This is kind of what I've done so far. I'm going to get some white paint and just put it straight on to the canvas to save my palette. Just a little bit. And more in the centre of the canvas. So I'm going to leave the outskirts. I'm going to leave the outskirts, the blue that I've already put on, 
but where you can see that I've just put white straight on the canvas I'm going to mix in trying to keep the outside darker and the inside a bit lighter again you might want to use a smaller paintbrush for this um, I actually find it quite easy to get definition with quite a large paintbrush because um, you can do it quite quickly so I'm just going to keep using this for now Okay, when you're happy with your background, which I sort of am, <laughs> you are going to get your smallest brush and we're going to do the highlights, the tiny little bits of white. Sorry, I really can't speak today. Starting with the eyes. So we're going to put two dots right in the centre of both eyes. There we go. That normally makes quite a difference to a painting. And where you can see the widest parts of the paint of the cow, so on the top of that, sorry, I've got blue everywhere now. On the top of the head here, on top of the nose, and just up here, and just that little, and just below the nostrils, we're going to highlight with really sharp lines of white. And if you water down your brush quite a lot, you can bring off the majority of the paint on your palette. Swipe it through, you should get quite a straight edge. And we're going to do bits of fur hair, sorry, not fur, I don't think it's called fur on a cow. Hair coming off. So just, it's quite good if your background's dry for this part. So if you are patient, wait. And also just above the lip is a really super thin line. So you might want to water it down quite a lot. Um, and around the eyes, we're going to do a slight outline just above the eye and just below. With this bit, you can be quite liberal with your paint brushes and the brush strokes and any bits that you're not really sure about or don't blend in properly, you can just use that white and just flick across the mistakes basically. We're going to give him a couple of tufty bits at the top as well. Could be a hair, don't know why I said him. And really use the texture of the brush now. Now that the base is dry and you've just got your white. Okay, and there we have it. This is my finished painting. This was actually a request um, from one of my followers. So if you do have a request or want to see me paint something specific, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to do it. Uh, if you do paint along with this one, please share it online and tag Craft Noon if you do. And yeah, let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching and I'll be back next week.